guys and welcome to another video popular demand well not not really it was only a couple of you okay but I'm bored <laughs> so I decided to try another aesthetic uh, and this one since you saw from the title is the royal royalty core royal core I'm not sure royal core yeah we will also be trying to do the queen core or the princess core which is pretty similar I will show you how I do the styling which is kind of interesting to me because I have a lot of different uh, pieces of clothing sleeves skirts tops and I'm gonna show you how I mix all of these together and create different outfits and a lot of you guys ask me all the time where I get these dresses from and they're just different pieces I combine they're old and they are all uh, made by my mom so sorry I cannot help you with that but what I can do is inspire you okay so royal core I have the uh, aesthetic wiki here with me royal core is a term referring to a group of aesthetics based on the visuals of West European royalty visuals can be from architecture to actions to artwork so we have castles, marble columns, archways, staircases, thrones, swords, horses, portraits, scepters, crowns and tiaras. I also do not have any tiaras. I mean, I used to have for like my childhood costumes, but I don't have any now, especially diadems, you know, or the crowns, the big ones. Yeah, the sub genres are nightcore. Sadly, I only have dresses, but I'm dying to get uh, an armor sometime in the future because it's so fucking badass. And then we have prince core and princess core. Uh, but what I want to try is queen core because I have a dress that looks like a badass queen, you know. I'm gonna start with a kind of nightgown. This is what I have in mind. Uh, and I want to add uh, this eerie castle at night with ghosts element. Um, so yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna show you the outfit in a second. Okay, so the lens I use is a wide lens and it makes a lot of noise when it focuses, so I'll just narrate this part. So, here we have the dress. I try to, well, firstly not get demonetized, but yeah. I'll try to make it into one piece like this, not to have a defined waist. And then I add these two sleeves to make it more uh, of a loose nightgown so you're not able to see the figure like the, the body inside it's just um, a loose dress uh, it kind of looks creepy you know if you see it in a dark castle at night it kind of looks like a ghost lady so now that we have the outfit let's start with the photos So my camera is charging so I have to film this bit with the phone, apologies for that. So I just finished the first part of the photo shoot, which was the more uh, princess, nightgown, castle, dresser kind of vibe. And now we're gonna move to the queen core, the more, you know, elegant, the more strict. Uh, so for this I'm gonna uh, wear the same outfit I wore on a video, on a reel I did on uh, Instagram and a lot of you asked me where I got that dress and I'm gonna show you now how uh, it, it's not a dress by the way, it's just a lot of pieces combined and yeah, let's just start, so we'll remove these sleeves, we don't need them anymore and I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna wear this um, nightgown, this belonged to my grandma so I wore this underneath So next what I did was use this beautiful cape, which is, the fabric is just so freaking good that you cannot only use it as like a cape, you can do so many things with it. It's by a ethical brand from Spain called Costura Real, check them out uh, if you like. So, got this little pin here, and so now we create this beautiful uh, effect here. 
and now we're gonna add the corset now the problem is I'm wearing so many things underneath that it's not gonna close but that's fine because we're just taking photos with it and it's not gonna be that visible I'm gonna try to put it off camera because this is gonna take a while Okay, so this is as good as it can get. The corset's not fitting me properly. I'm wearing so many layers underneath. This corset is actually very small to me. I added a little bit of more fabric in here just to make it more puffy. And now I really like this detail, but what we can also do is add uh, sleeves. I have these ones over here. So we can do this. Another pair of sleeves. These ones, these are more um, Queen Marie Antoinette kind of uh, vibe, more puffy as you can see. So we can do a lot of stuff with these. I think I'm going to go with these ones because they are more um, the aesthetic we're going for. And also maybe add a uh, choker. And this is how I look, like a queen with zero budget. Just check this dress. Oh my god, this is so good. <sighs> I got a lot of photos. I'm so tired right now. I wish my room was bigger, but at the same time I like it that it's small and everything is um, gathered in these uh, Four walls but yeah basically I changed two outfits the roses I got the other day helped me a lot and uh, let me just take this corset off because much better now we're gonna go see the photos do some editing I'm gonna show you the editing process so yeah let's just see the results